some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan with uh, Judge Jeffrey Middleton as he takes on a uh, landlord uh, tenant case in which the tenant doesn't seem to be all there. In fact, he seems to be missing a few marbles. And, uh, well, you got to feel sorry for his ex-wife, considering she's in the middle of this and has to deal with his problems. Just his delusions of grandeur that uh, make him believe that uh, Donald Trump is out to get him or anything like that, or uh, Joe Biden or anybody else that's been in power. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This is file 24979LT. It's entitled U.S. Bank versus Patricia and Lawrence Rice. Ms. Rice, uh, Lawrence was here early. The lawyer was here early, and I was willing to start early, but I forgot about you. So I said, well, let's wait uh, for Patricia Rice to log in, and you're here now. Uh, this is a foreclosure action. There was a bank foreclosure on this property on Man Road some time ago. The property's been sold at a sheriff's sale. And attorney uh, G. Douglas Tuma is here from the Trot and Trot Law Firm representing U.S. Bank. We were here on July 29th, and we learned that Lawrence is in the house and Patricia is not and has not been for some time. There was a more than a year redemption period that's passed. The property was not redeemed. And at this point, the bank wishes to foreclose and take possession of the property. Is that correct, Mr. Tuma? Uh, yes, Your Honor, in, in large part. I think at the very end, you misspoke. You said that we wish to foreclose and take possession of the property. Yeah, it had we been foreclosed. Yeah, yes. the, the foreclosure is completed. The one-year redemption period has expired. Uh, there's been no circuit court challenge to the validity of the sheriff's deed. Um, my understanding is Patricia Rice is out of the property and doesn't claim any interest in the property. Uh, but Mr. Rice is, and we are not aware of any uh, of the very limited defenses that are available um, in a possession only case uh, post foreclosure. We have not seen any raised in this case. So we would ask for a judgment of possession. Mr. Rice, what would you like me to know? Uh, I hear June 10th, 2022 is when I filed for my disability. My first paycheck is December of 20 of 22. I have made every attempt with select portfolio servicing that if you, and, and remind you, Mr. Middleton, I asked for a jury trial when I asked my case to be removed from the United States of America because I'm not going to get a free trial with you oath takers. Okay, uh, so uh, you want the trial to be moved outside of the United States altogether and not be held within the state of Michigan because that's the jurisdiction that this takes place in? Uh, yeah, dude, no wonder you're failing at this. I mean, you almost sound like a sobtard. I mean, the United States is a corporate fiction and all that. I mean, you know that kind of bullshit. But hey, let's carry on, shall we? Let's see what this uh, idiot has to say further on down the road. Moving in and out of my house. And Mr. Middleton, I will show you your paperwork that comes from Trout Law that says right at the top of it, Team J, Patricia Rice. Right at the top of my deed and abstract, my description of my legal property. And Mr. Middleton, Mrs. Patricia Rice started moving out in 2005. Mr. Middleton, the courtesy report sent to you on Discover and Capital One credit cards that explains that since 2005, she has moved in and out of my house and took at least $45,000 with her. When she went, maxed my credit cards out, Mr. Middleton, you have all this. U.S. National Bank, U.S. Bank National Association has all this. Capital One, Discover, Pay Express. Every Pay Express card registered in that woman's name will show you the last time she left my home was about $14,000 cash, and I was maxed out in credit card debt and 25% interest. And paperwork coming from Trout Law says Team J. Mr. Middleton, from the time I left here at court last Friday, 
my poems, my presidential that, you know what, my presidential speeches that I've been writing and the good Lord woke me up for two weeks straight and told me to push a pencil, not to mention 10 years of my poems like Dirt Cheap and my lottery tickets. Every, every lottery office I bought a ticket from, I watch the retailer's cameras because Mr. Dirt Cheap and a lottery ticket was in Mr. Johnson's office with his security cameras. Everything is on security cameras that I've asked for, Mr. Middleton. And I asked for my case to be removed last week. So that means I want a jury trial. And that means I want it removed from the United States of America, U.S. Bank. It's just like Donald Trump and cameras everywhere and have me unrecorded. And Donald Trump is involved with this. And I want Donald Trump's cases along with mine removed from the United States because I'm not going to get a free trial with oath takers because we've already proven that here in St. Joe County was your phone. Yeah, okay, so lottery tickets, Donald Trump, uh, all sorts of conspiracy theories. I mean, you're also a speech writer for the president. I mean, uh, good grief, man. You sound like this one guy I know who claims he was the uh, – offspring of uh, John F. Kennedy when this dude was born in 1969 and the JFK assassination happened in 1963 and then he makes a claim that he's in a relationship with Tiffany Trump and everything like that and uh, when a single ninja can destroy an entire army, stuff like that. I mean, you sound just like that dude. So don't worry, uh, I'll send the men in white coats to come collect you soon enough. I mean, they'll put you in a nice... uh, Safe room for you to be in. That way, Donnie boy can't come and get you. Uh, nor could Joe Biden or uh, Obama or uh, Bush or any of the other living presidents. I mean, good grief, dude. God bless. Amen. So we can keep doing Trout Law and Team J with this St. Joe County and very nice oath takers that want to intimidate me when I stand here. And speak my very right as a United States American citizen that I want not only a jury trial, I want it removed from the United States of America because I'm not going to get a free trial. And Donald Trump's Joe Biden and all the emails are coming with me. Then if not, every phone number I have that this county has blocked my emails and my texts, you're all under arrest. God bless. Amen. Do I need my citizens arrest handcuff or does he have a shot pair? So we're all under arrest, okay. When should I expect the uh, feds to come knocking at my door? I mean, I mean, I've I've gone on the clock here right now because I got to be at a uh, at a uh, self defense training course here in the next few hours. So that way, I'll just call the proper people and uh, well, let them know that I can't be arrested today. That's what I have to say, Mister Middleton. But for the beginning, and for Team J. Mr. Middleton, Credit Union 401. I am going to speak my piece as an American citizen, as an oath taker right here behind me. That comes from his office, Trot Law. It may not be him, but it came from Trot Law. That Credit Union 401 in the United States of America. And I guess we better go with this. I want a jury trial. You have wellness checks and everything else called on me. Temporary insanity is what I plead. God bless. Amen. Temporary insanity, and you have it all on your security cameras and your wellness checks. And Robert Small, James Scott, Zach Kaminga, across my street, invaded my privacy like Mrs. Rice. And forgive her, because I love her with all my heart. There is a spot in there, but I'm worried about me now. Okay? And I am filing bankruptcy as of June 10th. In the United States of America, because I do believe it's my right, because you guys, I waited 207 days and I did not disrespect the Social Security Administration's office because they have 207 days. And if they have 207 days, U.S. National Bank Association has all my credit cards. They have all the proof. I should have 207 days. Every day that it takes for my disability to go through. And you've taken seniors and Americans home that are disabled, and holding up Jill Scott and bipolar and Big Pharma. Big Pharma, bipolar medication keeps you bipolar. The cure is inside of you. It's reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's bipolar cure. Because bipolar kind of medication ain't doing nothing but keeping you bipolar. Read the symptoms, brother. Read the 
listen. And this ain't bipolar. No, you listen to me. This is my time. You gave me permission, and I'm going. You are going to listen. Look, dude. Uh, bipolar medication is not a cure. It's a treatment. You're going to be living with a bipolar disorder for your entire life. It's just that the medication helps to regulate that. I mean, didn't you know that? Uh, I've got friends who are bipolar, and, well, they all tell me that, uh, the medication certainly does help, uh, regulate the symptoms. I think we're in the manic stage of bipolar, but I You get... play manic stage, mister! I... Mr. Middleton, this is anger, because I- You know what it feels like when you can't keep people coming in and out of your house, and it's law enforcement! Do you? You did the search warrants! God bless, amen! You did, Mr. Middleton, this county. And just like the man, when I mentioned Dane Scott and he looked at you, same thing Officer Lackey did when I called him about the very turtle that they exterminated. It was probably an endangered species that you want to play your little games sort of about this damn tall. And it was on Facebook and it was on Man Road because the car went by. I said, just a minute, let me go, let me go. This is weird and I'm going to post it. Just let him go. I'll give him till 2.30. In bankruptcy, I want a jury trial. I am pleading temporary insanity, and I want to file bankruptcy. And it's my disability that I have to wait on the government. The government has to wait on me. And children being molested in Constantine, Michigan public schools, and you all are going to tell me I got to wait till 2.30. Mr. Middleton, 401. Credit Union, 401. United States of America, Instead of taking it, if they were smart, they'd empty their accounts or tell you, let us open up the credit union with $100 billion and take the taxes and the Social Security from it so the government gets their help they need. God bless, amen. It'd be for the American citizens. It'd be for me. It'd be for my disability. God bless, amen. And it's just the beginning. But I did ask for a jury trial when I said move my case out of the United States of America that is my God-given right. And Donald Trump and all the cases and all the security cameras, I want you to think about it, Mr. Middleton. They're coming with us. God bless and amen. Because I need it for my trial. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Ms. Rice, anything you wish to say? I did not take any money from him, sir. All right. Well, I you don't have any him. interest in this property. Pay express cards, sir. Is that true, Ms. Rice? And all the fuel what? on the Capital Just One cars. A minute. Just a minute. Mr. Middleton, everything is proof on the Capital One cars. You have it. Well, that's and these government cases that you... Before the court. Um, your court system. Mr. Toom, I really wish I had a judgment here, but I don't. Uh, your Honor, we'll email one over um, quickly. I've got it in front of me. I just wasn't sure of this court's procedure for filing. But... All right. The email address is 3bcivil at stjosephcountymi. Dot o -R -G. Before you leave, sir. <clears throat> so just a sec. Uh, Elaine, uh, look for this judgment. And as soon as you get it, please bring it in the courtroom. Before you leave, sir, Mr. <clears throat> U.S. National Bank, are you there? Your Honor, I just have to step to my scanner. Very are you there, Mr. Here. U.S. National Bank? I would like for him to see this camera right here. And the cage that you sat right here last week and agreed to that I caught COVID in it, and there was no way to escape it for nine days. And you sat right here in this courtroom last week and agreed there was no way for me to escape COVID. Do you want to show Mr. U.S. Bank this phone? Because I want him to see the cage I was in that Mr. Warren Buffett decided to fire me instead of paying me for the COVID that I caught in his cage. Yeah, seriously, Warren Buffett, uh, one of the richest men in the world, a man who actually built his fortune up uh, to what it is today, and... Uh, you think he has time to even know who you are? I mean, you claim to be a, a speechwriter and everything like that for presidents. Clearly, you're experiencing delusions of grandeur uh, if you actually believe any of this stuff, that you believe that you are uh, best buds with Warren Buffett and that Trump is out to get you. I mean, uh, why would Trump want anything to do with you? He's got bigger fish to fry right now. Not to mention the fact that... Uh, if you're on Trump's uh, enemy list, uh, he won't stop talk talking about you. And so far, I haven't heard a word coming out of his mouth about a guy named Rice. Mr. Middleton, 
No, I don't think he needs to see it. I, I accept if you were in a confined space. Because you sat right here in this courtroom and said there was no way for me to escape COVID in that cage. Probably not. No. All right. Probably not. No. Mr. Rice, the cold hard truth is this has to do with a payment for property that you're living in. And I would have had, nope. if I would have gotten my, my half grant, would have caught it up in that cage, Mr. Middleton, right. that you sat here and agreed to. Yes, now stop. And, it's, gave, and, I, it's, and it's registered in this court. I God gave, bless, I, amen. Okay, I'll stop. All right, I gave you. But a you will time. remove this, you will remove this eviction, this foreclosure and this possession from this courtroom and the United States of America. And that is my given right as a jury trial. God bless, amen. All right. I don't have, I don't know where I'd remove it to the outer limits. Anyway, you have 10 days to vacate this house or you're subject to being evicted. You also have 10 days to appeal it. 10 days from. And forgive me, dear Lord, for I have said, Mr. Middleton, I am allowed legal help and I, I have called legal aid every day this week, but three, God bless, amen. You keep sitting there doing this, Mr. Middleton, because I'm coming to you, brother, and I hopefully I can find a real old taker. Your Honor, I must have- and I hope uh, I live stream, dear Lord. God bless, amen. I must have written down the email address incorrectly because it bounced back. 3pcivil at stjosephcountymi.org. Donald Trump and Vincent DiCarlo, Pandora's box. In St. Joe County, God bless, amen. All right, sir. If you wait outside, I'll make sure you get a copy. No, of I'll hear anything you have to say, because you're not going to run your mouth after I walk out of the courtroom. Well, you have 10 You can be trusted about as far as I can pick you up and throw you. You're probably not that far. Well, I'm heavier than I once was. But yes, you have 10 days to move or you're subject to being evicted. You have, you have right now to remove yourself from the courtroom. You corrupt official. God bless, amen. All right, you're good to go. You wait out in the hall. That's well. We're going to fight them all. Sorry, I'd go through that, Your Honor. Oh, it's part of the job. Miss Rice, I know you've been struggling with this for a while. There's no sense to stir the pot it is what it is it's a, he's in the property it's been foreclosed on the redemption period has passed miss rice my recommendation to you would be you contact sergeant bruce morse at the sheriff's department in 10 days when they go to execute this writ of eviction it's going to be very unpleasant i know you do have some things there that you claim belong to you um but the sheriff is going to have to be very cautious in executing this all right, that completes our record. Uh, as soon as I get that order, I'll sign it. Uh, Ms. Rice will forward it to you. Um, what we had an address for you, Patricia, I'm not sure we've got it. So I'm going to stop the live stream. I'll leave the record on. And this probably will go viral in some all the wrong reasons. Sir, can, I ask a, can I ask a, a question? Minute. Yes, this live stream is completed. We'll be back and we'll. You know, you got to feel sorry for uh, the ex wife in this particular scenario. I mean, it appears that she left him a very long time ago because she got tired of all the uh, manic depressive phases. I mean, anybody can get tired of that. I mean, you just can't blame her for that. This is definitely one of those cases where this guy is not a sovereign citizen, but a true, true case of mental disturbance. I mean, sovereign citizens are not uh, mentally disturbed, but they're just led down the wrong path for the most part. Well, some of them might be middle, mentally disturbed. I won't put a, make a blanket statement out of that. But this guy, this guy is truly one of those cases that is uh, mentally disturbed. And he needs all the help he can get. Maybe he'll get it one day, and maybe he won't reject it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Show me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment?
What's the Third Amendment and I'll f***ing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? What's your name? Right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Why? have been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.